win a 64-team college football playoff. In previous years, in 2022, Alabama, Pittsburgh, or Oklahoma State, and Georgia were, uh, were the Final Four. Alabama beat Oklahoma State in three overtimes to win the national title two years ago. And last year, Michigan, TCU, Georgia, and USC made the Final Four, where ultimately Michigan beat Georgia in the championship game by eight points to win the 2023 version of this tournament. So, who will be the champion in this year's tournament? Well, let's start with the Midwest region and number one overall seed, Michigan playing Drake, but Tennessee plays West Virginia, and Tennessee wins 31-27 over West Virginia in the first game. Michigan uh, obviously won 58-0 over Drake, and uh, that should be a no surprise to anybody. Moving down the line, Notre Dame beat California 41-20 in the Stillwater, Oklahoma region, where Oklahoma State now plays Memphis, and they actually get upset by the Tigers. 38-31, the 13th seed beats the 4th seed. Uh, to move on to face Indiana in the sec or uh, Notre Dame in the second round. Uh, moving down, 11 seed UCLA upsets 13-0, 6 seed Liberty, 31-24. Liberty had a good season, but they just were not uh, good even compared to any of the Power 5 teams. Uh, they, UCLA moves on. They go to 8-5 in the season. Ole Miss defeats Furman, 42-7. No surprise there. Uh, they moved to 11-2 to face UCLA in the second round. Finally, the last uh, region, the uh, Eugene, Oregon region, uh, Clemson defeats 10 seed Maryland, 30-23 to in double overtime. Close game, but they ultimately win, and they get, they are going to face Oregon Ducks, who won 55-6 over Ivy League champ Yale. Again, no surprise here at the Midwest. Uh, the top uh, three of the top four seeds advance. Only Oklahoma State get the big upset over, uh, to Memphis to not move on to the second round. Moving on to the West region, Washington uh, uh, plays Duquesne, and Iowa State uh, plays Texas A&M in the first round. And Iowa State kicks a late field goal to win it 24-23 at one point over A&M uh, to move on to the second round. They will face Washington, who destroys Duquesne 63-3. No surprise, Washington hosts Iowa State in the second round. Moving down the list, Kansas State beats uh, UNLV, the 12th seed. Uh, they won 45-21 pretty handily. UNLV was just no match for Kansas State and their uh, the Big 12 offense they have. And uh, finally, in uh, this one, Louisville faces Montana. And Montana, the FCS upset over Louisville, gets it done late. The late score, 28-25, defeats the 4th seed Louisville, the ACC runner-up. And they move on to the second round. Shocking upset here uh, in the Louisville, Kentucky a part of the bracket. Uh, South Dakota State actually hosted number 11 seed Texas Tech in the first round. They won 24-21 in overtime. Hold on to defeat the Red Raiders. Uh, they become already in this region the second FCS team to advance uh, to the second round. They'll face the winner Penn State, Austin P, and then Penn State obviously uh, 45 nothing over Austin P. No shocking there. Uh, they the only two losses they had all the season were to Michigan, Ohio State, everybody else they beat by at least uh, 25 points apiece. So no surprise there. Penn State destroys FCS Austin P. SMU played number number seven. SMU played number 10 C Miami, 30-24. Uh, Back and forth game, uh, the, the, the American champion, SMU, uh, they get it done over the ACC. Uh, they will face Georgia, who, who defeated Lafayette, the 15 seed, 66 nothing in the first round. Uh, they basically rested their starters after the second quarter. So uh, they will face SMU in the second round of the West region. Uh, once again, three of the top four seeds uh, do not uh, advance. Only one that didn't advance was number four seed Louisville, who lost to, pre like we said before, SCS Montana. Moving down to the South region, uh, Texas and NC Central and uh, James Madison UNC. Well, UNC gets a gets a close win over James Madison, the eight seed, thirty-one thirty. They will on to face Texas, who play, who beat defeated NC Central, uh, fifty-two to seven. So that'll be your second round matchup there in uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, go down. Oregon State defeated MAC champion uh, twelve seed Miami Ohio, thirty-one to ten, pretty easily. Uh, they just were no match uh, for the Pac-12, uh, even though Oregon State finished fifth in the Pac-12. They, are, uh, they handled the MAC champion pretty easily. And then LSU defeated 13 uh, seed Northwestern, 35 14. Uh, they, won, they will face Oregon State. Uh, they host Oregon State in Baton Rouge in the second round. Auburn upsets, uh, 11 seed Auburn upsets number 6 seed NC State, 21 17. Auburn played really good the last, uh, after that loss to New Mexico State. They. They should have beaten Alabama and uh, probably and uh, should have been you know ranked a lot higher in this, but uh, they played NC State really well. NC State was kind of overrated as an ACC team, but either way, Auburn beats them. 
and they faced Missouri, who beat uh, FCS, one of the top five S FCS teams, Albany, 41-7 pretty easily, uh, and this will be a second-round SEC matchup. Uh, Kansas defeated USC 38-35. Caleb Williams just wasn't enough uh, in the end for Kansas to pull out the victory. They will face Ohio State, who won 70-7 over Gardner-Webb out of the SoCon. So, uh, Kansas faces Ohio State. Three-seed Missouri faces 11-seed Auburn. No, four-seed LSU faces Oregon State and the Texas host UNC in the second round. Finally, the last region, the East region, where Alabama was the one seed. Uh, Duke played Tulane, and Duke actually advances 34-28 over the American uh, Conference runner-up. Uh, they will face Alabama, who defeated Nichols State 56-3. Again, resting their starters midway through the second quarter, moving on to face in the uh, round of 32. Uh, Toledo, actually, the 12th seed, upsets Iowa, the Big Ten runner-up. Uh, Iowa held them in check most of the game, but their offense so bad, just historically bad, they just couldn't hold off forever. Toledo has a really good offense, and uh, they actually pulled the upset in Iowa City, uh, and they will face Arizona, who beat Boise State, the uh, Mountain West champion, the 13th seed, 31-24, hard-fought hard fought game, but Arizona, one of the more underrated teams, gets to 10 wins on the season. They will face Toledo in the second round. Utah defeated Wisconsin, 21-14. Defensive struggle here, uh, but Utah ultimately gets the victory. They will face Oklahoma, uh, the three-seed who defeated Villanova, 45-14. Uh, that will be a second-round matchup in Norman, Oklahoma. Kentucky upsets Troy, the uh, Sun Belt champion, 27-24, a uh, walk-off touchdown in overtime. Uh, they will play Florida State, who easily beat Florida AM, and the SWAC champion, 49-0 in the second round. So Alabama, uh, Florida State, Oklahoma, and Arizona, all top four seeds advance to the second round in the East. Going back up to the second round in the Midwest, Michigan beats Tennessee 34-21. Kind of a struggle all the way up to the end of the fourth quarter where Michigan pulled away with a couple of touchdowns uh, to move to 15-0 and, and, and going to face Notre Dame who won pretty easily over 13th seed Memphis 42-24. They will play meet each other in neutral site Lucas Oil Stadium in the second round. Bottom half of the bracket, Ole Miss defeats UCLA 35-20. Ole Miss offense is way too much for UCLA. They will face the Oregon Ducks 35-27 over Clemson, kind of a hard, uh, Clemson's defense uh, was doing pretty good until the fourth quarter. Oregon scored uh, two touchdowns late, and they will ultimately won by eight. They will face Ole Miss in U neutral site in uh, the U.S. Bank Stadium. Moving over to the West uh, region, Washington playing Iowa State. The close matchup here. Iowa State coming on late in the season, uh, having a good run. They held, went to all the way to overtime with the second overall seed, uh, Washington, but they ultimately lost uh, by a touchdown as Washington's defense bowed up and uh, prevented Iowa State from pulling the massive upset here in the second round. Kansas State defeated Montana State, Montana 38-13. Uh, another easy uh, game for the Kansas State uh, Wildcats. Uh, they face Washington in the neutral site in SoFi Stadium out west in their third, second, third round matchup in the Sweet 16. Penn State defeated South Dakota State 31-14. The game was actually tied 14-14 heading into the fourth quarter. Penn State put it on 17 points scored in the final frame to defeat the uh, F one of the best FCS teams in history analytically. 31-14. Uh, they will face Georgia, who in their matchup as well defeated SMU, the American champ, pretty handily 41-14. They will meet in Levi's Stadium uh, in a neutral site game out in the West region. Go down to the South region. Texas playing UNC. Texas wins by 17, 38-21, pretty handily over UNC. Their offense is only so good. Texas just has a much better defense, and Texas offense is, you know, rem remotely close to UNC. So they, they put up a lot of points. They will face LSU, who won by two scores, who uh, was up 35-28. Uh, went for a fourth down in uh, the final frame with two minutes left, and they actually scored on that play, made it 42-28, put it away. They will face Texas in the Gator Bowl, TIA Bank Field, uh, in the second round of the South Region. Auburn, the 11th seed, wins again over number three seed Missouri, 27-20. Auburn just put putting a magical run together uh, late in the season. Uh, they're getting to eight, eight and six. They will face Ohio State, who was a close for the first half and then they pulled away late 35 17 over the kansas jayhawks they will meet the 11 seed auburn at nrg stadium uh in the sweet 16. finally the, the east region alabama plays duke 35 14 they won uh, another easy matchup for uh, alabama 
they will face Arizona, who defeated uh, Toledo after their big upset against Iowa in the second round. They won 34-17 over the Rockets. They will face Alabama in the Outback Bowl at Raymond James Stadium. Finally, uh, Oklahoma, late field goal. Late field goal. 30, they were losing by one. 35-34. Time expired over Utah. Won 37-35 to get to the Sweet 16. They will face Kentucky, who had a late touchdown, was losing by one, 24-23, had a late drive with about a minute left, scored uh, to make it 30-24. They ultimately uh, got a turnover on downs in the last 30 seconds to upset number two seed, Florida State, to move to the Sweet 16. We have 11 seed and a 10 seed now in the Sweet 16, so those two teams will be uh, something to look out for uh, going to the rest of this tournament. Going back up to the Midwest, Michigan plays Notre Dame. And Michigan comes away with a 10-point victory over Notre Dame. Really good game, and Michigan has finally got a late score to pull away by 10. Uh, in the Midwest region uh, semifinals, they will face the Oregon Ducks, who won an absolutely great shootout against Ole Miss. No defense in this game, 44-41. They move on to the Cotton Bowl at and Stadium in the Midwest region to face Michigan Wolverines in the Elite Eight. The West region. Starting off at Kansas or at Georgia's in Penn State. Georgia gets the uh, victory over Penn State, 42-38. Uh, they were actually losing in the, the final frame. They got a 38-35. They got a touchdown, and this was a cl- epic clash uh, back and forth. Georgia moves to 15-1 into the West Regional Final, where they will place face Kansas State, who pulled the upset. You know, um, one of the biggest upsets of the tournament so far. Number one, second overall seed, Washington. They won 31-30. We actually had a, a chance to win the game. Washington did at the end, and they missed a long field goal. And Kansas State gets, gets the upset. Five seed facing the two seed in the West Regional Final in the Fiesta Bowl. Going to the South region. Ohio State gets uh, ends Auburn's magical run 35-14 pretty easily. Uh, not really much match for them. They're doing so well, but then Ohio State just prevailed. Their offense is just way too dang good. Uh, and they will face LSU. Who upset Texas, the four of a one seed, uh, 37-34, late field goal to put them ahead, in the, and they ultimately held on to the lead with about five minutes left, and uh, they will face Ohio State in the Peach Bowl in the South Regional Final. Finally, the East Region, Alabama uh, was a close game with Arizona to about the uh, first first half, and the Alabama shut them out in the second half, 38-21. They move on to the East Region Final. And they will face Oklahoma, who ended Kentucky's mini run uh, 35-28 uh, in their matchup. Alaba- so, in the East Region Final, we have Alabama facing Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl at Hard Rock Stadium East Region Final. So, we have our Elite Eight matchups. Michigan facing Oregon in the Cotton Bowl. Kansas State facing Georgia in the Fiesta Bowl. Uh, Alabama facing Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. And LSU against Ohio State in the Peach Bowl. We'll start off with, with the Fiesta Bowl. Kansas State versus Georgia. Georgia was actually a eight, nine and a half point favorite in this one. And Georgia actually covered. But won by 14. 38-24. Georgia moves on to the semifinals in the Final Four uh, in the in the Sugar Bowl. Going on to the Cotton Bowl. Michigan was a seven and a half point favorite over Oregon. And Oregon actually pulls the big upset, 45-38 over the Wolverines. Bo Nix has had a game of his life, had five passing touchdowns, and Oregon's defense bowed up when they need to. They upset the only remaining undefeated team in this tournament, the Wolverines, and they advance to the Final Four in the Rose Bowl. Well, they faced the winner of Alabama-Oklahoma from the Orange Bowl. Alabama was a 10.5-point favorite in this one. And Oklahoma covered, but Alabama uh, actually came out uh, with the money line, the victory, 28-24. Very close matchup. Oklahoma was such a good team, and they had a good run. And Alabama was just a better team. Jalen Milrow powered them to a close victory, and they were in the Final Four in the Rose Bowl against the Oregon Ducks. Finally, the Peach Bowl, LSU versus Ohio State. Ohio State was a 4.5-point favorite in this one. And they win by nine. They cover, uh, and they went out right as well. Uh, 34-23 over LSU in the Peach Bowl. They will move on to the Sugar Bowl to, to face Georgia in the Final Four. So, your Final Four matchup. Oregon, Alabama in the Rose Bowl. And Georgia, Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl. Start off with the Rose Bowl. O- Oregon was actually 
a seven and a half point underdog in this one. Alabama seven and a half point favorite. Oregon gets the upset again. Two straight victories over two of the more favorite teams this entire tournament. Michigan and then Alabama in the Rose Bowl. 31-27. They move on to the national championship game. What a crazy run by the number two seed Oregon. Uh, almost lost in the second round, but they made all the way to the finals. We went to the other semifinal game, the Sugar Bowl. Georgia versus Ohio State. Georgia was a three and a half point favorite over the Buckeyes. And Georgia gets it done in overtime. Buckeyes actually cover, but they won by three in double overtime. Georgia gets the late field goal, and uh, they ultimately win. This was two years ago in real life. They uh, Ohio State missed the late field goal to win. Now Georgia makes the late, late field goal in overtime to uh, get the victory, and they move on to the national championship game at NRG Stadium. Future Big Ten team, Oregon, current Pac-12 runner-up versus Georgia, the SEC runner-up in the national championship game. Georgia comes into this as an eight and a half point favorite. Oregon, eight and a half point underdog. And the winner of this game, Georgia, your national champion, wins 38 27 over the Oregon Ducks. They covered and they won outright. And they are a 2024 64 team NCAA tournament champion. That's the whole video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if they're the upsets what do you think of it but i really enjoyed this if you guys enjoyed it as well click the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for all my future videos and i'll see you next time